In this short video, we'll be explained how to specify a resistor. Resistors are passive components that are connected into an electrical circuit to introduce a certain resistance. The resistance is measured in ohms. The most important parameter that describes the resistor is therefore the resistance value. There are numerous other parameters that influence the resistance value during use. For each of these parameters, it depends on the application how much the accuracy is influenced. A few examples of these parameters are tolerance. When resistors leave the manufacturing process, they all have a certain deviation in resistance value. This is expressed in percentage and can be higher or lower depending on the resistor type. The power rating indicates the maximum power that a resistor can handle before it damages. The temperature coefficient of resistance, or TCR, is a measure of how the resistance changes with ambient temperature variations. This is expressed in parts per million per Kelvin. The voltage coefficient of resistance, or VCR, is a measure of how the resistance changes as the voltage over the resistor varies. Noise is a natural physical phenomenon that shows up in every resistor. For example, in audio gain applications, low noise is very important. The pulse rating expresses how well the resistor can handle cycles of energy pulses. Parasitic inductance and capacitance are unwanted effects in resistors that show up at high frequencies. Stability. Over time, the resistance value will drift. This is dependent on the resistor type and also on the load conditions. Physical size and mounting characteristics. The size is more or less defined by the voltage and the power, but also by the mounting limitations. Here an axial leaded resistor is shown, but also SMD resistors could be specified. On resistorguide.com more detailed information on all these parameters can be found. As said before, these parameters can all have a bigger or smaller impact, depending on the specific application. For many general purpose circuits that have not high requirements, many of the shown parameters don't need attention. In the next minutes we will go step by step through the process of specifying a general purpose basic resistor. First we calculate the resistance value in ohms, the allowed tolerance and the consumed power in watts. The resistance can be calculated with Ohm's law. The triangle on the right can be helpful to remember the three variations of Ohm's law. When two of the three terms are known, it's easy to calculate the unknown. If the maximum limits for the voltage or current are known, the limits for the resistance value can be calculated, which gives an estimate for the tolerance. It is important to calculate the power in watts. This is done with the power law, which is also called Joule's law. The wheel on the right helps you to calculate the power as a function of resistance, voltage or current. This wheel can also be found from resistorguide.com. When you take a look at the formulas, it becomes clear that a small change in current or voltage can cause a large change in the power. Therefore it is important to carefully estimate the variation in voltage, current and resistance value. For the resistor selection, it is important to take the highest estimate of power. Now that the resistance value, the maximum tolerance and the wattage are known, we can further specify the resistor requirements. Remember that not only the tolerance influences the final resistor value, also the previous mentioned parameters such as temperature coefficient or voltage coefficient have influence. It is a good practice to choose the power rating of a resistor much higher than the wattage as calculated in the first step. The temperature of the resistor stabilizes as the generated heat is equal to the heat the resistor can lose in the form of radiation, convection and conduction. The larger the resistor surface area, the greater the heat loss rate and therefore the lower the temperature rise. Free air wattage rating, or maximum power rating, is defined as the wattage rating of resistors under special standard conditions. But if the resistor is mounted in a hot ambient temperature or in a tight enclosure, the resistor is not able to lose heat as good and therefore the power rating needs to be chosen higher. For the ambient temperature, a power the rating chart can be used. Now that all parameters are defined, the most suitable resistor type and model can be selected. On resistorguide.com, an overview of all common resistor types explains the specific pros and cons of each type. Try not to overspecify the resistor by selecting a resistor with much higher tolerances than needed. This will needlessly increase costs. Also, try always to select a resistor that belongs to a preferred value series, also called E-series. Check resistorguide.com for more background information on resistor characteristics.